This is the first of two videos on formulating equations, and you may have seen um, some of these problems before, but we're going to look at them in a different way, and um, using models, as you've learned in class, to represent numbers and situations. We've talked about this, an equation is a mathematical sentence that contains an equal sign. So the only thing that makes an expression, these numbers are numbers and letters, an equation is to add an equal sign. And in algebra, um, it's usually y equals 2x, or it may be that you'll use a variable um, like if you're finding the cost, it may be cost equals um, 7 plus x, or 7 plus an amount. So the equation has the equal sign. So you've looked at different ways to represent multiplication. You know, now that you're doing algebra, um, we don't really use that multiplication sign, but you may still see it on a test. Um, know that the dot means the same thing, and then the number next to the letter means the same thing, and then adding the parentheses doesn't change the meaning either. And division, the big thing to note here, this division sign is the same as the slash. This means x divided by 2, so like 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then this is the same thing, x over 2. Um, in a fraction form, if this number were 12, 12 divided by 2 would equal 6. So there are steps to writing an equation representing a problem situation. Um, you need to identify the known and unknown, understanding the variables. What operation are you using? Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? Um, writing the number sentence, making sure you use order of operations, and then going back and checking your work and making sure that it makes sense. Um, you're not going to be solving these. So you don't have to do the order of operations, but you have to make sure that anything that's set line um, that's laid out has order of operations. So let's look at this through the lens of using a model drawing. Um, it says each piece of candy costs 25 cents. The price of P pieces of candy is $2. So you're saying that the, the price of each candy is 25 cents. So I'm going to put this 25 in front of the letter. And that is means equal to $2. Now, the same way that you would use the models to draw this is you would say you would have these pieces and each piece is worth 25 cents. Okay, so how much, so this is $1, so how many pieces would be equal to $2? So it would be, and each of these would be 25 cents. So $1 and $2, and so that's eight pieces. That's if you were solving it. But really, you're just laying this out as to what, how to do it. And, um, but this helps you draw the picture on how to do it. Okay, this one says, Suzanne made a withdrawal of D dollars from her savings account. Her old balance was 350 and her new balance is 280. So her old balance was 350. And her new balance is 280. And so the amount of her withdrawal is D, is this. And so the way you would solve this, of course, is 350 minus 280 equals D. So if you were to write that as an equation, you could write um, 350 minus D equals 280, okay? 350 minus D equals 280, or um, 350 minus 280 equals D. Either way, you get the right answer. But you'd probably see it like this. 
Linda was selling tickets for the school play. She sold 10 children's tickets and A adult tickets for a total of 15 tickets. So you, you have this model and this is 15 tickets and she sold 10 tickets for um, children and then A tickets for adults. So um, if you're trying to find out A, A equals 15 minus 10, okay? Or 10 plus A equals 15. So you can see by drawing the model, you can see how the combinations come together and what you're supposed to be looking at. Okay, this is one that will be very common and um, this, is, this is good to draw a model. It says a cell phone company charges a $12 monthly fee. So they charge $12 monthly fee. And then 25 cents a minute per call. And this isn't set up equal to anything. You're just saying, how would I represent this? Well, you'd represent it 12 plus 25 cents per minute, okay? And this is real important because whenever you get into the long problems, there's going to be a, a set amount plus an amount that changes per minute, per hour, um, per whatever. And so you need to have that set amount and then the, um, the, the partial, the amount per times the, the minutes. So um, if she only spoke for four minutes, that would be a dollar. So it would be 12 plus one dollar for, for one minute worth of calls. An electrician charges $45 per hour and spends $20 a day on gasoline. Write an algebraic expression to represent his earnings for one day. Well, he's going to make $45. And he's going to spend $20 a day. So what's left is his earnings. Okay, so use that information to try to write an expression that um, represents this. And um, let me go ahead and draw the model on this. A large pizza with 15 slices is shared among friends so that each friend gets three slices. So you would have friends Each one of those is a friend getting three slices, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 slices. And um, so how would you write that as an expression? Okay, so I noticed as I was doing this that this model didn't completely represent um, what was going on because it says $45 per hour. So this, I mean, if he had $45 per hour, maybe he worked four hours, okay? So you would have to say, and th these hours change. So $45 per hour minus the expense of the day of 20 equals the earnings. And of course, this is a, This would be a, um, an equation, not just an expression. Um, without the E equals, it would be an expression. And then this one is 15 divided by 3 equals the number of friends. And of course, the number of friends is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, a group of 15 parents bought tickets to a fundraiser show and received a group discount of $2 off the regular $25 ticket price. Which equation, or write an equation, that would be used to represent T, the total cost of tickets? So go ahead and try to um, draw a 
picture, draw a model of this, come back and um, we'll see how your model compares and go ahead and draw a, we'll, we'll do this one step at a time, just draw the model of this first. model. Um, you'd have 15 tickets, each one costing 25 minus 2, which of course is 23. But we have to represent the whole thing. So, um, which you create? Okay, so the, the ticket is the total cost. Okay, so the total cost of this. So how would I write an um, equation to represent that? And so I'm going to have 15 of them, and they're at 25 minus 2. So write an equation that you think would um, do that. So I have 15 tickets times the price of 25 minus 2 would be my total cost. Um, did you come up with something like that? Let's look at the options that the problem had. Okay, let's just look at those. So this says 15 times 25 minus 2, but I have this grouping symbol here because each one of these is represented by that. This is 15 times 25 minus 2. Now, is that the same thing? Because it, this 15 is outside these parentheses, but there's no multiplication sign. Does that matter? Um, this one is 25 minus 15 times 2. That doesn't even come close to what this represents. And this is 25 times 15 minus 2. So you can see how it could be very confusing just to look at the answers first before drawing the model and before coming up with your own expression. Um, it was a little off because it didn't have this multiplication sign, but otherwise it was the same. So drawing the model, coming up with your own, and then matching it is sometimes easier. Um, the risk that you get to is just taking the numbers and not putting them in the model and that you've selected the correct answer and you'll vote on that and then we'll know that you watch this video and that you're ready to go for the day of class.